Hey everybody, this is Julius of the Goat Movement Podcast. I'm here to reintroduce a series of videos, a weekly series of videos that were on our old channel. These are the What If Discussions, where we discuss different points in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and drastically change them, seeing how the universe as a whole would be affected. These videos started back in 2019 in anticipation for the What If series now on Disney+. Plus. I'm joined by a variety of different guests where we talk about these different instances and scenarios. We're going to release them weekly like we did beforehand, and we hope you enjoy them. Obviously, a lot of these discussions became episodes, so it's going to be fun to compare and contrast then to what we have now. Enjoy the content, the conversation, have a good one, stay safe, and goodbye. What's happening, everybody? My name is Julius. And I'm Daniel. Daniel, it's time to ask ourselves, what if Loki remained the king of Asgard at the end of Thor The Dark World? Um, yeah, that's cool. That's interesting. Yeah, I like man. that. Um, you know, that was a big reveal at the end of the movie where, right. where it was like, where's Odin? And yeah. Loki's in charge. Right. You know, right. and that lasted for a couple years until right. Ragnarok. Right. What if he was never found out and he, you know, just kept on doing his thing as king of asgard what do you think could have happened um yeah that that's a huge what if because i think it would he would have had to have kept thor away yeah or like it, i think anybody that knows odin or loki or both of them would have figured it out and i think they did that in the movies very well yeah but what if he stayed you know for yeah. years um I think he would have gradually become more powerful, maybe, and Ooh. stood more of a chance against Thanos, or had some sort of more, more of a, of a, of a tussle for power. You know, rather, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, like that's something, something that's like sick. that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Something like if, like if Thanos is a is a uh, is a Hitler, let's say. Yeah. And now Asgard with loki becomes as odin yeah becomes like an ally like yeah. an allied nations with earth yeah and, and, oh that'd be crazy thor or something and thor <laughs> thinks he's allying with odin and odin is doing something that he'd never do allying yeah. himself with humans but the whole time it's loki yeah but thor is like because oh, he my knows goodness, my dad has changed <laughs> you know what i mean like wow this is a sick moment you know and then after the fight it's loki the whole time yeah loki's like know? kind of playing his cards right for right. the moment he's right. like i got to ally with the guys who have beaten me right you know right. exactly and so i know they can beat him right exactly you know? exactly and so yeah i think i think it would have been it would have been something like that he would have been more of a uh, like more of a power of the force to be reckoned with you yeah. know rather than killed so early in the movie <laughs> of, like <laughs> trying to shank thanos you know what I mean? <laughs> so i think it would have been a little bit bit uh crazier fights yeah. you know more magic we would have seen from him yeah imagine the avengers going up against a loki that has like all this tapped, power tapped all the powers of asgard yeah. or something and or oh man it, it'd be crazy that's earth's mightiest heroes right it, there it's crazy it was cool that we saw hella take that role but imagine yeah. if we saw loki kind of like take the hella role and and you know find some asgardian weapons to fight against the avengers oh that dude been sick that would have been si he would have been sick came to earth like as an actual invasion yeah leading the shit with exactly. asgard you know it would have probably gone a lot better than right you know in the first avengers film because he had done it before he knows not what to do next time and not only that <laughs> but the chitari like we had they no suck. investment to that <laughs> like yes one of the sickest scenes in movie history is that spin around shots you yeah. the avengers i mean that's one of my favorite shots of all time in, in all cinematic history yeah but um but as in terms it, it was cool seeing the hulk and all these guys of the avengers run through this army that i didn't really care about you yeah. know but imagine if it was odin and as guardians and like oh my goodness the investment i would have had in that fight you know um it probably would have been a lot more destructive like yeah. how, what would have happened to the civilians i don't know that's why i guess we're talking about the what if but man yeah. that would have been crazier way crazy the chitari fight which was chitari trash paper yeah. villains you know the droids that was, from star wars the, the droids they were <laughs> that was sick that was one of the sickest fights i've seen in movie history that's so awesome now we got asgard imagine if it was asgardians led by an odin that we don't know is loki yeah oh my goodness that would have been ridiculous that would have been ridiculous it would have been ridiculous and it would have kind of i mean i don't know i don't know how it would have gone but it would have created this kind of tense relation what well, 
Tense would be saying it lightly, but mm. this tense relationship between Asgard and Earth, you know yeah. what I mean? And Thor, and, and Thor, in Thor. He's like, oh, yeah, shit, I have who to do pick I... a side. Like what? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's crazy. Yeah, something like that, and then um, you know, but I guess that doesn't work if they have to team up. Oh, or maybe they fight, he loses, and then they team up against yeah. you know Thanos if he stays as Odin. Yeah, you know? um, that would be freaking sick. I like that idea of him um, like gaining power just yeah. because he's the king right you know right. he's got that staff right he's he's learned new magic and stuff right he might enter the odin sleep even at points right right or the loki sleep or whatever right. you want to call it whatever you want to call it i i mean and and that would kind of make sense i feel like it it, it it would make sense. It's kind of like the president. When the president becomes president, I'm sure they start telling him all the stuff, like who shot Kennedy, are there yeah. aliens? I, I, I feel like day one, you want to, you want to know, you know? Yeah. Like, all right, I'm president. <laughs> Where are the aliens? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> Where are the aliens? And so I feel like Odin too. Like you, you're Odin. You're like, all right, I'm gonna unlock all these chambers that've yeah. been locked for thousands and millions of years. You know, I'm gonna open them and use these weapons, and then, oh fight. man, dude, that'd be crazy. I mean, you saw what he did with that destroyer armor in the, in the first film. That's the first one, and the scepter. I mean, he yeah. was he was a villain with the scepter. You know, he was like a force to be reckoned with with the scepter too. So, um, yeah, imagine all the other stuff that he would have gotten. Yeah. I mean, come on, Shit. it would have been. And look, he's not a dumb guy. He's like no. smart, you know, which is kind of makes him more dangerous. If he's just not extremely villainous, yeah. he can be, but he's not like straight a ruthless villainous yeah. you know what i mean he's They're, just kind of yeah. like an ass you know he's like good, a mischievous ass. ass yeah yeah Dick. yeah exactly just kind of like that and then is is like <laughs> is very selfish like only yeah. about himself you know i could very well see uh loki kind of being his own version of thanos where yeah. he cultivates his own little black order if you will mm -hmm. to go and find some infinity stones yeah that you know? would be sick you have you know, what if he uses people like Nightmare, Mephisto, yeah. you know, after he gains all this Odin power. The Enchantress. And the, the Enchantress. Is, uh, the, uh, what's, his, what's, what's his name? The Executioner. Oh, man. Yeah. yeah. He uses all those guys. Yeah. That, that would be that'd Straight be sick. up Asgardians. Yeah. Oh, 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 if you go straight Asgardian. Yeah, oh, that would well, be sick. Or whoever he, yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. But that would be awesome. Yeah. That would be awesome. Because we know Loki. That's another thing. Loki, he'll go anywhere. He does. To, to get what he wants. And deal you with know? anyone. Deal with yeah. some space gangsters right, and shit. Right. You know? Imagine Odin, Odin doing that you yeah because that's what we'd have to do if it, we're talking about a what if yeah um yeah but that's what i think i think the fights would have been way doper maybe yeah you know I, and maybe i don't i don't know i i do like what they did the scope would have been know? even like dope yeah it would have been no dope. way like I, I just think in terms of just that avengers movie alone how would i have felt about asgard and and them teaming up later or being on good yeah. terms later with earth um I don't know if after seeing a war like that, if I would, if it would fly the rest of the saga, you know. Yeah. So maybe they went the right route, you know, or they did go the right route. Right. I mean, they, not maybe they did, um, but who knows how that would have turned out if they would have kept him as Odin, um, and then he goes to war with Earth. Yeah. And then you know. Uh, oh man, God, that's crazy. And then they find out, or maybe they find out after he fights Thanos or something. It's you like, know? hey, I you're not, know. you're not Odin. Yeah, you're not Odin. And yeah. eventually, Odin does die. Yeah. Right. So that means hella comes out yeah so how does that you know loki still being the king right. thor's doing his own thing and hella comes out like what like what, what could that lead to you know how do you think that would work in terms of their relationships yeah i don't know i don't know if they would have even used hella you know if if you have an odin an, an a villainous odin you know what i mean um but yeah uh maybe if hella comes out it would have been more of a fight now that he has the Odin yeah. power. Yeah. So we don't know, you know. Um, he wouldn't gone down like it wouldn't you know, got like down that. in seconds, you know. But I feel Hela would have taken it anyways, yeah. you know. Because um, she's yeah, she's a, I mean badass anyway. Yeah, right. She's so, really powerful. Yeah. So that's why it's it's tough. I I don't know. I, it's that's a tough one. <laughs> Her um, versus the Avengers. Yeah, that would know? be sick. <laughs> I think she would lose, but yeah. she'd give a really good fight, like no, a yeah. really beast fight i feel like she'd give thanos a run for his money oh yeah you know i, I, think I don't so. think she's dead honestly no i don't think so either yeah. i don't think so either um so we'll, I, I think we'll see her later you know <laughs> yeah because we're still gonna get other thor movies right don't aren't we yeah or, we're getting like a, the valkyrie a fourth and all that stuff thor film oh right love yeah, and yeah. thunder right love and thunder and they're right. bringing in the lady thor in that that's right so can't let's do it like i didn't even know I, 
I couldn't believe they said we're bringing back Natalie Portman for this shit. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> They're that's just getting nuts. deeper into Thor. They are. They are, and that's cool. That's I mean, it's cool. He's he's one of the fan favorites, you know. Yeah. He's not he's my favorite after like not my favorite, but I really like him after Infinity War movies. Mm-hmm. Um, but the Thor movies, they weren't my favorite, you know. Okay. Thor was okay. Thor two was one of my least fa- favorite of all the MCU movies. Yeah. And then Thor Ragnarok was fun. It was a lot of fun. I don't think it was a bad film in any way. I mean, not in any way, but I I think it was more for kids, you know? It was. And so, um, you know, I'm 33, and I still (laughs) like these movies. I'm not saying anything, but, you know, when on top of it, you layer it with, like, four kids, I just have to take it as it is. They're not making it for me, at least that specific movie. And they're definitely trying to get more aligned with the... um the 60s era Thor. Right, the right, right. The Jack Kirby drawings. Exactly. So I appreciate that. Yeah. I appreciate that. I, I definitely, that's what I'm saying. Like, I appreciated it. Um, uh, I, I, I don't, I didn't hate Ragnarok, but I, I feel like it was geared more towards kids. And so, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Kind of like Shazam. Shazam was, it was, it was yeah. fairly true to the comics, you know. It's, it's what I wanted to see as a Shazam fan. He's one yeah. of my favorite DC characters, if and not my is, favorite DC character. It is character. cheesy. But it's cheesy, yeah. and it's like that on purpose. It's for a middle schooler and younger, you know what I mean? That's who they want to get interested in these movies to eventually, like me, go back and see these heroes when they're coming out with two and three. They want these kids that yeah. have grown up with it. So sometimes they have to make the movies like that, and it's fine. Um, so I understand that with Ragnarok. Um but yeah, it's not it's not my favorite. Um, my favorite Thor stuff is when he's in Infinity War movies. Those are my favorite Thor stuff. <laughs> That's when it's beast mode. Yeah, it's just ridiculous <laughs> when he takes the force of a star. Oh, dude! Dang. The, yeah, it's crazy. Met up crazy. with freaking Peter Dinklage. They just I, I have a list. You know what I mean? Like he, he chops <laughs> off Thanos's head. Right. He takes the force blast of a star. He throws Stormbreaker into freaking Thanos's chest. Like it, it, it's it just goes on and on. He uses the sick. Stormbreaker and Mjolnir. Yeah, together. Exactly. What the heck? Like the dude's a beast. And so, um, yeah, I, <laughs> I, I I do like him as a character. Um, his movies aren't are my favorite. My favorite are Caps, the solo films. Yeah, Caps are my well, favorite. Yeah, you hands can't down. beat those. Hands down. I, I I don't think anybody has better solo films than than Cap. No you one know. ever in the uh, history yeah. of of ever. Batman comes close. It came close, it came but uh, close. it's conceivable that he <laughs> yeah. could get beat by Cap. Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah. everybody. Well, even though it was a shorter episode, it was still a hefty one. I'm Julius. I'm Daniel. What do you think about the episode? It's been three years of the GOAT podcast, so please subscribe. We're going to get to 3,000 subscribers because of you. You are going to make us worthy. Let's go. Thank you for listening. Goodbye. Peace. The GOAT Podcast is proof you don't have to look any further for movie news, reviews, trailer reactions, or special discussions. Subscribe, get notified about what's going on, and I promise you'll be entertained by our daily content on YouTube. If you want more, we're on Twitter at GOAT Film Podcast, Instagram The GOAT Podcast, and The GOAT Movie Group on Facebook. Get connected with us, see what's happening, and make sure to love it while you're doing so.